Welcome to AuditBot Role Automation Tool Demo. AuditBot is an SAP certified solution partner, having three major solutions such as SAP License Saver, Custom GRC Solution and Process Controls for SAP Systems. Now you are seeing AuditBot Role Automation Tool screen. You have three options such as, Download Roles, Transport Roles, and Roles Update. Before you perform any operation, we provide a safety measure to back up your roles using download and transport option, so you can always reverse the changes if something goes wrong using our tool. AuditBot Role Automation Tool automated 20 plus functions in PFCG, such as Create derived roles Delete derived roles Create single roles with menu T codes Update org values Insert or delete single roles from composite roles Add or delete T codes of single roles etc. Our tool takes tab delimited text file with a correct layout of fields to perform a specific role operation. For example, create derived role operation needs three fields, such as parent role, child or derived role and description for derived role. You can create thousands of derived roles within minutes using audit bot role automation tool. Now, we are going to see how standalone roles are created from the flat file using our tool. I selected create single roles with menu T codes option. Once I press the enter button, file layout field is changed to show the expected columns layout, such as role, description, menu folder and T code. We show expected fields layout for every role operation when you choose then press the enter button. Now I selected roles update button. Bottom section, you see checkbox for org values filled with star, blank authorization field filled with star. You can check or uncheck if you want to set star to org values, blank authorization fields. Now, I'm going to enter the CSV file name such as auditbotdemoroles.txt. I also show the contents of the file such as role name, description, menu folder and T code. File has 7 T codes into 3 menu folders, such as finance folder with FBO1, FBO2, FBO3. Then HR folder with PA30, PA40. Then custom folder with two custom T codes. Custom T code ZBot graph exists but Z dummy does not exist. I want to show how AuditBot tool handles non-existing T codes error handling. Now I show ZBot graph T code exists with dialog screen. When I enter T code Z dummy, see below the error message, such as Z dummy does not exist. I also show the contents of AuditBot demo roles.txt in Excel. You can create this file using Notepad or Excel but make sure that you enter correct layout of fields for the specific role operation. I entered the correct file name. I also check star to org values and blank authorization fields option. Now, I click the execute button. Now, the file is being processed. You will see the progress in bottom status bar. Now the file is processed. You are seeing the log messages after processing is done. You see the log message for completion of each step including missing T code Z dummy error. Bottom section of log message shows number of roles found in the file is 1. Processed is 1. And failed is 0. If you process hundreds of roles then you will see how many are successful and how many failed. This is how you can process all 20 plus operations. If you want to assign roles to mass users, then choose option Q. Now, I'm going to check if the role, ZBot Demo 01 is successfully created in PFCG. In PFCG, I entered ZBot Demo 01, then click display button. Now you are seeing the successful creation of role, ZBot Demo 01 in PFCG. Under description tab, long text field shows created by AuditBot tool. It also shows who created this role on when. Under menu folder, you see three folders, such as HR, Finance and Custom folder. In Finance folder, you see, FBO1, FBO2 and FBO3. In HR folder, you see, PA30 and PA40. In Custom folder, you see 1T code ZBot graph. Z dummy is not added because it doesn't exist in the system. You see green color in Authorizations tab. Under Authorizations tab, Profile is successfully created, then generated. I click, display authorizations button to show you how org values are filled with star. 
I also show you the open authorization field, which is filled with star, because I check star for org values and open authorization field option while processing the file. If you uncheck these two boxes, then you will see blank for org values and open authorization field. If you want to assign roles to mass users, then choose option Q. Now I'm going to show the role automation log to support audit trail on, who created, who changed, when created, and when changed on the role objects. I entered today's date as Mar 20, 2022 into selection filter. Then I clicked execute button. It shows the logs of role, zbot demo 01, process today. First column shows, file is used to perform the operation. Second column shows, which admin user ran the tool on which system or client, on when, including time. Then it shows, operation I stands for role creation operation. Log column shows every step involved in role creation including missing custom T code Z dummy with error status E. Now I can run the report to show only errors from role automation log. I enter, status E, then click the execute button to see only error messages. This audit trailing is very important in multi-users environment. Where, multiple SAP security resources are performing various role operations using audit bot role automation tool. Our role automation tool will cut down 50% of your current SAP security workforce with a quick ROI on our tool. You can also manage very large SAP landscape with fewer SAP security resources using audit bot role automation tool. Thank you for watching audit bot role automation demo.